Hello, this is Miss Blanco, and I'm bringing you a book talk, Dead Girls Don't Lie, by Jennifer Shaw Wolf. In this story, JC is at the funeral of her best friend of 14 years, Rachel. She's in shock. Jennifer, Rachel was murdered, and it was speculated that it was during a drive-by shooting. And rumors start to circulate that she was involved in a game. And although Rachel and JC had been estranged for the past few months due to Rachel going out with Evan, who was JC's crush, this does not make sense to her that Rachel was involved in the gang. And so she embarks on a quest to find out who murdered her best friend and to find out why. During the course of her investigation, she manages to find a letter left to her by Rachel, stating, trust E, do not go to the police. E turns out to be Eduardo, a friend of Rachel's. Eduardo sheds some light onto the situation and lets her in on some secrets. Rachel had a boyfriend, Manny, who was also murdered a few months earlier. And Rachel was trying to find out whom had murdered him. And due to her investigation, Eduardo suspects that that is why she was murdered. JC tries to put the pieces together, looking at photos, looking back at memories, find, finding Rachel's phone, and piece, putting everything together. She enlists the help of Skyler, her boyfriend, and Evan's brother. And he, he is somewhat helpful. But during the course of the investigation, things start to show up about the football team. And JC is just not sure who she can trust. Can she trust Eduardo? Can she trust Skyler? Should she go to the police? The FBI is even involved. This book will have you guessing to the very end when the murderer is revealed in a turn of events. Again, Dead Girls Don't Lie by Jennifer Shaw Wolf.